Joining me today is Marco Kaltofen, the president of Boston Chemical Data Corp and a doctoral student researcher at Worcester Polytech Institute. I was going to say what's different about this material is unlike a lot of the soil and dust samples we've gotten, there's a real uniformity to this stuff. It's a single substance. It's not a mix of mineral particles and, and pieces of dead bugs and and plant matter and dust particles, it's actually very homogenous and uniform when you look at it under the microscope. And it, it doesn't look like the surrounding soils. And it is much more intensely radioactive than any other soil or dust sample we've gotten from around Fukushima Daiichi. So th this material is different. It's not a natural soil. There's something unusual happening with this stuff. The sample had uh, fairly high levels of radium-226. Now that's not uh, a radioisotope that we heard much about. The radium-226 was almost as active as the, the radioactive cesium of the sample. Radium-226 is a, a degradation product of uranium. We can't really detect the uranium directly is radium-226, which is much more intensely radioactive than the original uranium. And this tells me that this particle contains not only fission weight products from the reactor, but very likely contains a concentrated um, unburned nuclear fuel. And that's unusual. Uh, this sample had by far the highest level of uranium daughters that we've seen in pink sample. We're actually seeing material that might well have come from inside the fuel sample. Okay, when I hear that, that's clear evidence that the containment was breached. The, the, um, the interesting thing uh, to me is when I hear the black, I think of like uh, algae or, 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 or fungi or something like that. But you're saying this is not an organic substance, is that right? No, it's not an organic substance. It's a, a mixture of very small particles. And just the way they aggregate gives it the appearance of being black. But it's a, it probably, I would say optical illusion, but it, it's an optical effect of the size of the particle to the way they're going to go. Are these particles light enough for people to ingest them or breathe them in? Well, certainly they could be ingested. But right now, I, I would see they're much more an ingestion capacity. And that I usually tends to target children and agricultural workers. A child, on average, consumes between 100 and 200 milligrams of soil a day because of hand-to-mouth activity. So that's something to really think about. Wow, that's breathtaking. Yeah.